organization and the hallmarks of Raider football had become legend. Physical dominant block. The vertical passing game. Going deep to Brandon. The greatness of the Raiders came from an attitude. Al Davis once said, I will do anything to win. And he wanted players who would win at all costs. Pitts, I hit him with a forearm while ago, so he's out. He's out on his feet. He's out. Oh, yeah. The type of player that Al brought in had that type of attitude that we wanted to be tough, that we liked being disliked. I think half of our team was on a work release program just to play. We don't have any fights this week. Oh man, we gotta have some fights. Nobody enjoyed a good Donnybrook more than sixth-year linebacker Phil Villapiano. I, I just like to fight. I just could not stop myself. I went to Bowling Green. If I threw a punch, they sent me back to New Jersey. When I was with the Raiders, if I threw a punch, that was good. As long as it was at the right guy. They used to send me like a telegram or something from the league office. Dear Mr. Villapiano, you have been fined $75 for fighting. John must have taken care of all my fighting problems too, because I, I never had paid that. People said that we had renegades, but they were my renegades, so I didn't think they were renegades. I never sat around and said, well, I got a lot of renegades here. If that's the way they're going to portray you, you know, I just think, let's take it. You know, if that's what they want to say we are, uh, we're really not, but we'll be that. Everything kind of fit. Oakland being a very tough blue collar city, very tough blue collar team, Al being a tough guy, John being kind of a blue collar type guy, our logo being a pirate, wearing the color black. Nobody in the league was wearing black and flaunting black like our owner, Mr. Davis. And then on game day, he would wear lily white. Everyone refers to the Raiders as the bad guys, are you? Yeah, and I, I like that image. I think a lot of our players like the image. You know, we wear black. You see a cowboy movie, and a guy has a black hat and a white hat. The white hat, too, is a good guy, and the black hat's a bad guy. And we got some physical players on our team. That's the way you have to play to win, and that's the way we play. Anytime. You were playing a team with a, a dark jersey, you would have your protective, you know, hand or arm color would be dark. Anytime you played a, a team that was wearing a white jersey, your protective things in your hands would be white so that you couldn't see them holding. The Raiders were always looking for an edge. Fred Bolitnikov had one, smeared on his socks. He would get a big handful of stickum and he would rub the stickum all over. And then he would take a spray can or something you could probably lay brick with. And he would just spray that stickum. You throw him a ball in the first quarter, he's got grass stains always everywhere on him. It looked like he'd been playing for a month. Belitnikov used so much stickum, he needed to be spoon fed chewing gum. But that was not the only suspicious activity on the Raiders sideline. We had a guy named George Anderson who was our trainer, and he was a like 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 a, like in the CIA or something. They would have experts in demolition or something. George was an expert in pets, probably most of them illegal. George added to my gloves. What he did was he took the stuff from the uh, like you make casts on. He put it in the uh, hot water, and then he molded it for me. What I sensed I had was two casts so when i hit somebody my boom that was my first shot right to their eye i could take them down if i hit them just perfect i just like to call it the rake in the can opener when you got them you had them in the throat you do like that you know you could pop the helmet off that would be the can opener one time oj simpson if i hit him just perfect they showed this tackle at me for the whole year his helmet came off and the helmet went flying and he dropped to his knees and went like this. I contribute that to our that wonderful trainer that was a, a, a master of illegal pads. Look at John Matusak.
Sora's arm or cheating up Sora's arms? The pads of those arms? Or Bob Brown's thumb? He had a fake broken thumb for like seven years. But what he used to do was come up and deliver this into like Elsie Greenwood's stomach and he could drop Greenwood with one thumb. I mean, if they were illegal or not, you know, I'm not sure. Anything that you're wearing that is different has to be checked by the umpire in the pregame warm-up. Of course, you could not wear it in the pregame warm-up and then put it on for the game.